Hey guys, today I've got sort of a different video, but I thought it was something I should mention since it's tied into the access control system, which I do show a lot. So I replaced my front door on the garage. Now, some of you will say this new door is a downgrade, but I think it's an upgrade. Sure enough, it doesn't look as pretty, but it is a lot stronger. Here is my old door, as you guys probably remember. Just a residential wood door with lots of glass in it that someone could break. And here is the new door, a 90 minute fire rated steel door. Way stronger. So I'll show you what we've done with it here. Now this is a collapsible frame door or an expandable frame door. If you don't know what that is, I can show you. Looks like a normal frame, but it's actually not. There's actually, this is a separate section where you see that black line right there that is making this side be able to expand. You can get it in place. And then when you screw it together, it'll screw up tight basically sandwiching the wall in the middle. So this is what I used for this installation. It installed really easy, actually. It was an easy door to install. As you see, it's now an outswing door. So yeah, it is more realistic to a commercial building. As you know, I try to do that with all my fire alarm systems, emergency lights. I have it very realistic to how a commercial building would be, which this is just one more way that now it's an actual exit being it swings outwards. All the access control is still the same where I've got electronic strike plate right here that sat into the new frame nicely. As you see right here, that is my one and a half hour fire rating on the door. And I have a door closer installed. Let's turn the lights on in here. And I haven't, I installed this the parallel way instead of what I call the ugly way, where it sticks out and then reaches back I can't remember what that's called. It might be just called standard, but this is parallel. So it sits a lot more tucked in the top of the door jam. And then when you open the door, it'll open up like that. Security contact is just a magnet holding on there for now. and have to screw that back in at some point. So I think it looks nice. It's definitely stronger as it's a fully steel door. So a lot more solid. I've got commercial lock sets on here. Right now I have the Schlag SC4 keyway in, which is the six pin Schlag classic keyway, but I'm going to change it to a Schlag uh, Everest cylinder. That will be a little bit more secure and give me more key control. And I realized I just put my keys down inside the shed. So now I'm locked in. I've minimized one of my boxes here. Now I've just got one box, which goes down both ways. One goes down to the electronic strike plate in here, which by the way, it's really st strong being attached to the steel frame. There's no way that's coming out. And then the access control reader is right there. So just the one box now. I did seal this door up all the way, put this stripping around. I had to put some thinner stuff on the top. Otherwise it would keep it from closing far enough, but all of that works good. I've got this set up right where the guard latch, the guard latch, by the way, is this little one here. When the door latches, this part's supposed to just go behind the strike plate and pop back out. But this one, this little guard latch, is supposed to stay held up on the edge of that because otherwise someone could slip something skinny in the door and just pull it out and that would give them access. But if this little one's depressed, the big one won't go in any more than about a third of the way. So that's why you got to have that set up properly, which I do. You can't see it though because I put this um, latch and strike plate protector plate over top of it. So no one can get access to all that. So that's solid steel. That's, that's not going anywhere. That's good and solid. I just wanted to show you this new installation I did here. And once again, I know it's not as pretty, but it's a lot stronger. The door is definitely not going to be the first way somebody tries to get in now. For any of you worried about the hinges, that they could be bumped, that the pins could be knocked out, they cannot be. These are stainless steel because they're outside. That one's got a little bit of paint over spray on them, but they're stainless steel security hinges. So uh, apparently they're stainless steel ball bearing hinges. I'm not sure if they actually have ball bearings. That's pretty cool if they do, but I'll show you 
on the inside they have the little set screw right there, the little Allen key set screw, which is to keep that pin in when that, that set screw is in there, it's pushing against the, the pin, so you can't knock it out. There's no way you'd be able to, to get that out, I don't think. And when the door is closed, it stays in the spot where it's unaccessible. As you see, it rotates over that way, but if we go to the outside, You, there's no way you could get a tool in there to get to it. So there's no way you could knock those hinges out. I may add a panic bar or a push bar on here because that would make it even more realistic for a fire exit. You are allowed to use just a, just a handle like this if I think your occupancy it might be if it's below 60 or it might be only if it's over 60 or over 100 you need a panic bar. I can't remember. Either way, I'm never gonna get anywhere close to that. And they're expensive to install, so I probably won't ever do that, but would be cool to do that. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys this new installation here. I did have to paint the door. It did come gray, just a primed steel. So I did paint it. It turned out pretty good, I think. Access control is working great. It is latching okay. This handle, you can still turn it, but it won't pull in the plunger. It'll just turn, which I do like that. So if you did enjoy this little video and you like this new door, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.